Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be reviewing and demoing the new Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Kit. I have the shade Light right here. So if you wanna see if this works and what my thoughts are in it, then just keep watching. All right, so we are bearing it all today. Okay, well maybe not at all, but you know, some freckles, some hyperpigmentation, and oh look, we have some little ferns, some little breakouts. Thank you, Mother Nature. But anyway, so our face is bare, no foundation, no concealer, no nada. I just did my eyes and my brows for the sake of the video. We're gonna go ahead and go in with the new Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Kit. This is what it looks like, and I picked up the shade Light. It comes in three different shades, light, medium, and deep. Light is just the one that I thought would work with my skin tone the best, so picked this one up. I got mine at Target, and I believe I paid $9.99 for it, so it wasn't too bad in price. I know Ulta carries it too. I believe at Ulta it was $12.99. I initially went there first trying to find it, but they didn't have any shades available. Um, I know they do on their website though, so if you're down to wait, they do on their website, but me, I'm super impatient. I was like, I need it now. So I ended up finding my shade at Target, which is really convenient for me since I'm always there. I swear I live there sometimes. But yeah, so Target had my shade. I picked it up because I've been on the hunt for a good drugstore color correcting palette. I've tried a few out before, but I just wasn't really impressed with the formula. I just found them to be a little too sticky. So hopefully this formula works out for me and I like it, but we'll see. So this is what it looks like in the palette. There are six different shades. This section right here is for color correcting. We have the green shade that's supposed to reduce redness, and then we have the yellow shade that's supposed to brighten, and then the center column is for concealing. So we have a lighter concealer shade and then a more peachier toned concealer. This is gonna conceal any imperfections you have on your face, as well as dark under eye circles. And then we have the highlighting section. So there's a creamy matte highlight, and then this one has a little bit of shimmer in it, which is pretty cool. So, all right, I guess we'll start off with the green shade shade right here since we have a lot of blemishes going on. Once again, thank you Mother Nature. So I'm just going to take a synthetic brush. You can pretty much use any synthetic brush that you feel is fitting because synthetic brushes are going to work best with creams and liquids. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to color correct the redness on my face. So I've got a little friend right there. Ooh, this formula is actually really nice. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It's very creamy. We'll see if it blends. It is very pigmented if you guys can tell. I am gonna go back over these and bum them out with my finger, so don't worry, we're not gonna leave them super duper green and crazy looking. Oh man, we've got a lot of little friends going on. Mother Nature is trying to play me. Right, I think that's good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all these out with my finger. You always wanna blend out any correcting colors that you put on your face, just so it doesn't look crazy when you put the foundation over it. So it's blending out really nicely. I'm actually really impressed. This formula is way better than the other drugstore, um, oh, hello, don't scratch. This formula is actually way better than any of the other drugstore color correcting palettes that I've tried out so far. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this peachier tone down here and I'm gonna use that to color correct the dark circles under my eyes and also any hyperpigmentation that I have on my face. Peach is gonna really help counteract that. The formula kind of just like melts once you put your brush over it. It's really nice. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, I did prime my skin before I started going in with this. You always want to make sure that you prime your skin before you add the color corrector because right after the color corrector, you're going to go in with foundation. So you don't want to do it after the color corrector because it'll just ruin it and move it. So you definitely want to prime first and then color correct and then foundation. A little sunspot over here. Let's cover that bad boy. I have like darkness around my mouth that is super annoying, but that's what color correcting is for. You guys, I'm really liking the formula of this. It is so good. Blends out so nicely. So I have freckles, clearly. I normally don't like to show my freckles. Sometimes I'll be in a freckle mood, but 90% but of the time I don't really like to show my freckles. So I just cover it with a peachy tone concealer and that really helps to counteract that brown that brown tone. All right, so I think that's it as far as our pre-foundation game goes. After we put on the foundation, I am gonna go in with a couple more of these shades. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on foundation and I will be right back. All right, so our foundation is on. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the 
lightest concealing shade right here and we're gonna go ahead and conceal under the eyes. It's actually a really great color too. Works for me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with a blending sponge. Oh, it's actually blending out really nicely with this sponge. Now I'm gonna take the brightening shade, this yellow shade right here, and I'm going to use that to brighten up any areas on my face that I want to highlight and bring forward. Take that down the bridge there, brighten that up a little bit, here, 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 here. Take a little bit of it and put it under the eyes just to get some extra brightness going on down there. Then I am gonna run it along the sides there. And then take the same blending sponge and blend that out. It is blending out really nicely. And even though I'm building it up, it still doesn't feel cakey. It still feels very lightweight on me. So I do really like that. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and powder up, do the whole nine, and then we'll go in with the cream highlighting side. All right, so I finished off the rest of my makeup. The only thing we have to do is highlight because we want our highlight to be on fleek. So <laughs> I'm gonna start off by taking this highlighting shade right here. It's a very shimmery tone color. I think this is the only shade that I'm not going to use in the entire palette. But I'm going to go ahead and take this shimmery highlighting shade and we're just going to dab that onto the high points of our cheeks and anywhere else that I want to highlight and then I'll go over that with a powder highlighter. Oh, it's actually like really pretty by itself. Hey, I like it. Maybe we'll just leave this as is then. Girl. All right, so my final thoughts on the palette is I really love it. The consistency is really nice. It doesn't feel like gooey and sticky like other color correcting palettes that I've tried out from the drugstore do. The color selection in the light palette is really nice. I, I do also like that they have three different shades of palettes, light, medium, and deep, so that way everyone can try it out. And I love the formula of this. So yeah, definitely worth it. This is something that I'm going to be using every single day, every day. All right, so that's gonna be it for my review. I really hope that it was helpful for you guys in deciding on whether you wanna try this out or not. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hey girl, hey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we don't lose each other. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video.